Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to go ahead and use the sketch use this sketch grid. Uh, the purpose within this activity is to show you that you can uh, you can constrain geometry between sketches. So in a previous activity, I had created a sketch, I created a grid. Uh, I'll show you that that right now. So here is the grid that I created. This is on a separate sketch. So that sketch exists. I'm not going to save that sketch. I created a new sketch on that new sketch. Uh, there is currently no geometry, and I've left the previous sketch visible. With the previous sketch left visible, uh, I can hide a sketch or unhide a sketch using the little eyeball here on the left. Uh, so by leaving that sketch vis visible, it is not only visible to me, but is visible to Onshape, so that whenever I come in, and use my other sketch tools, for example, the line, I can hover over the entities from that previous sketch and use those to constrain my sketch. You can see that the entities that I'm drawing that touch the previous sketch grid are automatically fully constrained, and you know they're fully constrained because they turn black. So as I look through my example, you can see that this is that here's my shape. I've created this polygon. Um, all of the entities are fully constrained except for that very first point where I didn't quite touch the grid. So I'm going to hover over until I see the yellow constraint and let it go. Now you can see that the entirety of the grid, <coughs> excuse me, the entirety of the shape is fully constrained. Even when I turn the the grid visibility off, so this can be a helpful tool whenever you need to constrain things or use geometry between sketches. Good luck, have fun, and as always, keep being awesome.